Hi there, Mark Jamin, Medical Director of the Haywood County Health Department, and let's talk about this pandemic. Today, the answer to a question I've been getting asked a lot recently, and don't miss out on the stories at the end, they are worth sharing with others. And I would like to confirm that the breaking news at the end of the last uh, video um, is true, be released and we'll be out of here tomorrow. So the question I keep getting asked is, is it okay to have family come visit? I really miss them, and what's the right thing to do? Well, the answer is, I don't know, because there is no right or wrong answer now. So let me explain. Back in the hammer phase, if you remember that, there was an answer to this question. Emphatically, no. We needed a dramatic intervention to catch up to the virus. Only absolutely necessary interactions made sense. It was so much easier then. You knew exactly what the answer was. But now we're in the dance phase, and it's not so clear. Now it's a matter of balancing the chance for benefit against the risk of harm. So how much is the interaction worth to you? Now, there's no longer a way to make risk zero, only a way to reduce that risk. And here's a way to tell how much risk you are willing to take. Ask yourself this question. If I am as careful as I can be, and I still end up getting infected, or someone else gets infected because of me, will I still feel the interaction was worth it? The question is, what is your risk tolerance? What's the risk tolerance of those you're planning to be with? This is what you must find out to answer your question. If they come visit and someone gets sick, is it worth it? We now know that here are the available actions you can take that do indeed reduce risk of one, getting exposed, and two, if exposed, breaking the chain of transmission to keep that exposure from becoming an infection. Avoiding crowds and enclosed spaces, the golden rule of gathering, distancing, masks when you can't, good hand washing. Altogether, these may be enough to reduce the risk to an acceptable level for you to feel okay with going ahead, or maybe not. Either way, it's the correct answer for you. And let's take this a bit further. In St. John's County, Florida, County Commissioner was questioned a proposed mask ordinance, and here's what he said, and I quote, I think it's a personal decision. Everyone has an, an innate understanding of the risk they are willing to take, close quote. And that's exactly correct, the risk they are willing to take. But what about their risk to others? In the past three weeks in Haywood County, let me share a couple of examples of what we have seen. Number one, six family members, all well, meeting for vacation, only to then find out that one member had apparently been exposed beforehand by, to a friend who had not isolated. All six ended up infected and sick. Here's another one. Wearing a mask at work, taking it off at lunch with colleagues, but not distancing at the table, and then wondering how they got exposed. Or this. Symptoms for four days, not isolating, and, and still going into work, infecting four others. A July 4th get-together. One person there with mild symptoms. Five others get infected, as far as we know now. And here in Jacksonville, there is now a lawsuit against the Republican National Committee and the city over the risk of the National Convention bringing um, increased risk to this community. And tragically, the 30-year-old in Texas who went to a COVID party, you know about this? Lots of people gather intentionally with someone who has COVID to see if it's real and they'll get it. Some days later, that 30-year-old's final words to the nurse before they died, quote, I think I made a big mistake, unquote. All of these lead to the same question. Will I still feel the interaction was worth it if I or someone else gets sick? So be well and be careful, especially right now, and share this with those you love.